One of my all-time favorite illusions, this is a ring, this is a chain, let's see if you guys can figure this out. The ring goes through the chain, and just like that, it is now attached to the ring. Did you guys see that? Did you guys, did you guys catch how quick that was? Ring, and the chain, and on the count of three, one, two, three, a, physics. B, it's the ring. There's a, it's a trick ring. Or C, it's a trick chain. Is it A, B, or C? Let me know in the comments below. Today we got a very exclusive puzzle solve for you. It is something that is not yet on the market, but that is currently on Kickstarter. And it's absolutely destroying Kickstarter at around $200,000 pledged within the first week, completely smashing their goal. This is by Art of Play and Craig Hill. This is Jack in the Box. The Jack in the Box puzzle was actually designed by Rod Bogart, which kind of simulates a 3D version of that classic 2D chocolate illusion where you take one piece away and yet the bar is still whole. They've also put out a bunch of other puzzles which we've looked at in the past, and each one of them is super satisfying and a fun little desktop toy that you can just leave laying around for your friends to play or a cool display piece. So without any further ado, like this video, subscribe, and let's get into it. Here we go. Another successful Kickstarter by Craig Hill and Art of Play. Uh, this is the box that you would get. Obviously, they're in pre-order now. <laughs> and as you can see on the box, like there's like tagline placeholder text. There will be something else written here instead of that. But this is, yeah, this is all uh, before anything's released. So we're very lucky to be able to solve this today. So thank you to Art of Playing Craig Hill for sending this our way. Now, it's important to know that when you get this, uh, the reason it's called Jack in the Box is because this is the Jack that holds up the box. But much like that, you know that chocolate illusion? There's like a chocolate illusion that you have uh, the one extra piece. Well, this is kind of like a 3D version of that 2D illusion, which is really cool. Because believe it or not, this piece here fits into this. And it makes it kind of a magic trick. So they call it a puzzle within a puzzle wrapped in a magic trick. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just run through the, you know, what you just saw. We're going to try to remake that, which isn't too difficult. Um, there's two sides to these puzzles. There, uh, there's two sides to these puzzle pieces. Uh, this is made in aluminum, I believe, and one side is sort of punctured and dented and the other side is smooth. So that's really all you have to go on to make this happen. So first of all, you have to find a way to put the cube in. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do that one design first. Oh, wow. All right, here, no. It does get a little tricky at first. Like this, no? There we go. So on the outside of this now, you're seeing the perforated sort of punctured side, and that's without the jack. So let's try and go ahead and make that happen. It kind of is just like a trial and error thing uh, from the start, there you go. And you just kind of move around pieces, which is really satisfying. And I have not yet attempted. I've done this before. I'm just going to do it again to show you. But I have not attempted to put the jack in and try and uh, get it done. So what's fun about this is that you feel like, and this is the fun you can have with your friends, because you feel like you're done once you've completed this side. You're like, oh, I did it. I'm so good. And lo and behold, uh, you'll have to... Uh, You'll have to find another way of doing it. Hold on. So there's half. As you can see here, everything's nice and oh, <laughs> Every, I was gonna say everything's nice and and flush. Uh, oh god, it was. So one, two, three, these three need to be on the outside. So it needs to be here. Oh God. <laughs> there we go. And no, I'm gonna be like this, no. I, mean, I just had it.
here we go. Like this, and now this side. So there. Um, this should be actually, should be something like that. There we go. So that, as you can now see, is quite neatly packed within this little display case, this little acrylic display case, which is rather nice. And then you use the jack here to sort of prop it up. Let me this straight here, you put it in the corner and voila, it is now resting on the jack, which is a nice little display case. However, once your friends think they've completed the puzzle, you then tell them that no, there is another solution here. And that solution requires you to place the jack inside the puzzle, which seems absolutely impossible but it is the correct way to put it in. So I've never done this before. Um, so I gotta find the right placement here, like that, look at that, look how nicely that fits. That is very satisfying. So once that goes in, remember you gotta keep the smooth sides on the outsides and that's how this puzzle should look. Again, I've never attempted this maybe here. No. Yeah, look at that. So nice. All right. And it really is a bit of a magic trick how everything sort of comes together when you think about it goes there that goes there how nice oh sorry wrong way take it like this no it's the same thing Still a bit of a brain teaser, no matter how you end up uh, getting used to it. Uh, this is fun about these. This one definitely goes here, yeah. There we go. Now here's the beautiful part is that it fits inside the box and because of this little dimple in the acrylic, uh, it can be st stood up on its side. And it's hard to do that on this placemat, but you do it here, it kind of magically sort of sits at a nice angle. And that ladies and gentlemen is the Jack in the Box puzzle. Now this is available on Kickstarter. As I mentioned, they're already well past their goal at around $200,000 in a week. Uh, so if you guys wanna check this out and pre-order these, a really, as most things designed by Art of Play and Craig Hill, it is not only aesthetically pleasing, it is an actual fun puzzle that you can leave laying around or just have it as a display piece and 
if ever someone uh, waiting for you or doing what they can just fiddle with this and it isn't too difficult the difficulty rating of like a four or five so it's just a matter of trial and error it's not too frustrating so it's a perfect amount of puzzling if you're just getting into puzzles highly recommend checking this out and uh, yeah, that is it for today's video. That is all I wanted to review. I wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If this is something you would pick up, I would love to hear your thoughts on this and uh, check out the other stuff they got going on. I left the link below and yeah, there you go. Well, hot dang, ladies and gentlemen, there it is, the Jack in the Box puzzle. Like I said, if you guys wanna check it out, head to the Kickstarter link below. You know, this isn't a sponsored post, but I do appreciate Craig Hill and Art of Play for always creating classy new takes on you know illusions and puzzles and everything that's whimsical so i like supporting these companies and if you guys want to add something to your collection i do encourage you to check it out and if you don't want to you can also check out first dot shop we got a lot of playing cards and puzzles and clothes and all that stuff but uh but yeah that's enough for me uh we'll see you on the next video peace